bass model, bass model, under bass, under bass, under bass, under bass, bass this, bass that. But what really is bass? Does it really make owning an EV an easier option? Does it really make your EV cheap or is it just a gimmick? Allow me to answer these questions and more. I'm Radhika from Team Evify and I'm here to help you understand what really is the BAS model. Let's start with what it stands for. It means battery as a rental service. So in literal sense, it means that you are purchasing the car, but you are taking the battery on rent. So yeah, you're owning the EV, but you pay an additional amount per kilometer you drive. Now this amount will obviously depend on the vehicle you choose and the variant of the vehicle you choose. Let's dissect this further with a hypothetical situation. Let's say an EV is launched at say rupees 15 lakh. Now there is also a BAS option where the EV is for 10 lakh but you are supposed to pay rupees 3 per kilometer you drive. Now you would think that this kind of makes sense because you are paying according to how many kilometers you are covering. But that's not the case because there is usually a minimum billing distance. Now in this example, if we take 1000 kilometers per month to be the minimum billing distance, so you are supposed to pay 3 into 1000, that is 3000 per month, even if you're just covering say 500 kilometers, the minimum billing distance will be paid. Now on top of it, you will also be paying for the charging of your EV and maintenance if there is maintenance as such. We will take a real life example, but let me know in the comments what you think about it. Now let's take MG Windsor EV's base model as an example. It is priced at rupees 14 lakh, but under the BAS model, it comes at rupees 10 lakh plus rupees 3.9 per kilometer you drive. Now there is a minimum billing distance of 1500 kilometers per month, which means about 50 kilometers per day which will round up to about 71,000 rupees per year. Now this minimum billing distance bit will also depend on which company's service you are using to subscribe to the BAS model. So for Hero Fincorp or Bajaj Finance or Ecofi, they follow the minimum billing distance model. But for a company called Vidyut Tech, they follow the pay as you go model, which means there is no minimum billing distance you're supposed to pay for how many kilometers you drive. Now a very important question, when do you stop paying this rent? I know this is confusing, but stay with me. So you'll stop paying the rent when any of these three points occur. First, when your battery plan ends, that is in about three to five years, depending upon whichever company you've chosen to finance. Financing term ends and you're done. You return the vehicle for which MG offers you a buyback plan. Second is the buyout plan, where you can pay the remaining cost of the battery and you can outright own the vehicle. Now this cost will obviously depend on the service you've chosen to go ahead with. Third is program exit, where you combine outstanding battery plus the outstanding car amount and settle both. This amount will also depend upon the subscription that you've gone for. Now our suggestion is to do a thorough research on all of these financial plans that are being offered by the companies that we listed above. Now what do we gather from all this info? So we believe that if you are someone who is planning on changing your car in the next three to five years, the BAS model will work out perfectly for you. But if you are planning on having the car for a longer period of time, you might end up paying more under the BAS model, so you should go for the regular purchase. Just like the MG Windsor EV, there are also other EVs that are offering a similar plan. But again, the terms and conditions will depend upon which EV you're going for. Currently, we have the MG ZS EV, the Comet EV, the Honda Activa E being offered under the BAS model. We also have the upcoming Hero Vida VX2, which will be offered with BAS and Tata is also thinking along the same lines. Let us know in the comments if you would like us to explain you the BAS model about any other specific EV. Hope this one helped you clear some confusion and if it did, like this video and comment that it did. Um, I'll see you next time with more EV stuff. Until then, electrify your journey.